This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, are you able to hear me now? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, I need to hear you. What's <laughs> We have a service in the audio, yes. I think, uh, I don't know what is that, but anyway, we'll continue. If anything, I'm not able to catch it, then I will talk to you. But uh, uh, am I clear now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, fine. So, as you said, uh, you have uh, enough knowledge sufficient knowledge in AI path studio okay mm -hmm. so there are three components uh Winston. okay the components means uh how to say means we have a studio where we develop our codes so where mm -hmm. we our implement our logics okay mm -hmm. so suppose if you want to get an input of two numbers and you want to make an add operations after that you want to just display a message box the result uh, that is a uh, the result of that add operation means so you what you do, do means so you you will just put a message box and you will just run the code okay but mm -hmm. apart from this in real time what it means once you develop the code it has to be deployed to somewhere okay deployed mm -hmm. to somewhere and we are here in ua path the deployment will be in different phases one is a physical deployment one is a citrix deployment and the, another thing is a Cloud deployment. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what is a physical deployment? So, here uh, we will acquire a machine that is a physical machine, that's a CPU or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we will do means we will de de deploy, we will make that machine as a bot. Mm -hmm. So, we will deploy our ports and the bot will, bot has to be run. Okay. But uh, we have a, we will have a business uh, requirements like. Uh, like some uh, process has to be run by uh, morning, uh, daily morning at five o'clock. Some process mm -hmm. has to be run at uh, daily morning three o'clock. Uh, some process has to be run from morning nine to six o evening six p.m. And the interval will be every twenty five minutes. It has to be done. Okay. So these things has to be done. And one more thing, our uh, our uh, credential details. Okay, mm -hmm. so where we will store our credential details. Suppose if you are uh, automating a Gmail application in UiPath, uh, what are the things you have to do means? You have to key in your ID and password. And suppose it's, uh, if it's asking for a, uh, security questions or uh, uh, some security answers, then you also need to update it. Okay, mm -hmm. so these kind of things are the credentials and uh, we, sh we should not hard code it at any time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so once you develop a code in a studio and you want to deploy, you can deploy it. It's not an issue. You will, you will get a package for the particular process. Mm -hmm. But here, another two things will come into picture apart from studio is called a robot and orchestrator. So what is a robot? The robot is, is nothing but say it is an individual uh, runtime software. Okay which will be come along with your community edition. And uh, if you open in your laptop, if you type, if you install community edition, you can see two things. One is studio and another one is robot, okay. Mm -hmm. okay.
so th this is studio you know right mm. okay and this is robot so you can see in the tree have you ever noticed uh, Mr. about yes. robot okay yes. so here uh, apart from this we have a monitoring tool called orchestrator okay so this orchestrator will will have So you know about flowchart and sequence. Yes. Okay. Suppose if you want, if you want to know the system variable, okay. So you know how to create uh, variables. Yes, just simple variables. Yeah. Yes. Not, not. Suppose if I want, yeah. Suppose if I want another OS version, and uh, just. I want to build, I just I want to build the voice version means what I do means I will create a I have already uh, pointed the input variable of this uh, get environment variable or uh, who is a user or who, whatever you want okay from the environment level what is your CPU bound what is your current directory what is the system directory machine name processor count how many processor has been mounted in your system so suppose if you want to take anything then we have to create an output variable in UI part. I see it So we had to create it on and the variable panel you can see a variable has been set. Okay. So next thing is a simple uh, right in our message box or whatever you want. Okay. Let's start a more focus. So this is a normal, this is very, very, very simple code, okay. Mm -hmm. So what it will do means it, it will show our, it will show the mission voice version, okay. So, so uh, this is done, okay. So you have developed a use case, okay. I'm just giving you overall uh, picture, stuff, okay. So you can come to an idea how it's working. If you, if you know all these things, you can just, post, you can post your questions and we can, we can have as a conversation session today. Okay. So you have you have already developed a package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just this is a process, and you want for a deployment. So do you know how do you know how you to deploy the UI path code? No, no. No. So here there are uh, two things in UI path. As you know, UI path. I'm just going just, for a. Yeah. Just a question, Mani. So what is yes. the difference when you do a like I saw UiPath robot? What is the yeah. difference between that and the one which the studio, the one which is there? Never yeah, sure. on the UiPath robot actually. Oh, sure, no problem. Yeah. So here, uh, how it will be operated means studio, you will just create your process. Yeah. Okay. What are the components yeah. you have? You yeah. can create your processes. For this is a simple process we have created, okay. Mm -hmm. And we have runners. This is called runners. This is not robots, okay. So yeah. we will whatever code we are writing or logic we are writing or whatever disease we are creating, we have to evaluate and we need to check whether we are uh, getting the expected outcome, okay. 
expected output of the particular input or whether our business logic is correct or not. So we will do all the designs again. Okay. For deployment, so for example, your uh, code is created and if you want to deploy, deploy means that the bot should perform your process. Okay. We can't go there. So you as as you know about UAPR, the bots, the bot is like nothing is a software, okay, which is installed in the local systems, okay, which can be installed in a local system or which can be installed in a cloud or which can be configured in a, a Citrix environment that is a VDA, virtual, virtual desktop interface, all those things. So once you, uh, one second, this is robot. It will process your process, which is configured to it. Okay, so if you click robot in your machine, you can see th this option. Okay, if you if you right click and see robot settings, you can't see anything apart from this in your in robot. Okay, so here uh, what are the things is configured is the machine name. The machine name is my local machine name. Which machine the robot has been installed? Okay, while well, going for deployment there we don't we won't have the studio okay mm -hmm. only whatever process you have created will be configured as a package in that local mission okay mm -hmm. in the local mission okay or it can be configured in a common github repository or a what's it what to say accurate like, like the version control software can be used so from there we can just invoke the software and you can put all those packages in the machine which is configured in the orchestrator okay mm -hmm. so what we will do means here in robot it will do the process for you okay once you develop the process you have to make it as a package and you have to deploy in a machine where orchestrator is configured so from there orchestrator will trigger the robot for each and every execution okay so there are two kind of robots in uh, real time in UI path and most of the uh, process, most of the RPA tools, they have two kind of robots. So for example, in a real time scenario, uh, in mainframe, in mainframe, so we will have bad jobs, right? We will have bad jobs. So those bad jobs will start uh, by uh, at eight o'clock at morning, eight a.m. means. We, someone, some schedulers from schedulers is not going there or developers or application programmers uh, are not going there and triggering this uh, JCLs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's already scheduled through scheduling systems and it's running at the appropriate time at morning seven means it will morning seven, it will run. Okay. So these scheduling systems has been used, are being used in the UA path or uh, uh, how to say in blue prism or a uh, work fusion or automation anywhere. We can, we, they are using all the skill, other scheduling system concepts only. Okay. There are two kind of robots. Yeah, so uh, so what is the difference between all the RPA tools that you have? Like Blue Prism, I have not used automation anywhere, I have not used. So what difference, what advantage UiPath holds over Blue Prism or automation anywhere? But yeah, thing? here, yes, yes. Here, uh, what is here that main advantage of EA path is like uh, Citrix automations. Okay, mm -hmm. back office robots. So, what is back office robots? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Suppose, uh, now, how to say, if you are automating a web application, it is, it is a very easy task. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose you want to automate a web application that is a Windows application. Okay. Which is, which, for that you have to connect to a remote PC and from there you have to act automatically. Okay. Okay. So suppose you see as a, we, uh, you, uh, in, our, in all, in all our IT firm, we have a team called uh, IT help desk or some, someone. Okay. It can be named in different names, but what they, so suppose if we have any problem with our local systems, local machines or PC or anything. What they will do means they will come there and uh, they will take a remote of a system and collect all the errors. Okay, so these things can be automated in UI path through a Citrix automation. Okay, so that that is the main main purpose of the Citrix automation. One second, sorry. Okay.
like uh, if you want to go for remote automation remote system automation okay mm -hmm. if path will be very easy and sap automation as you know okay but if you find the if, if you for the enterprise edition you will get a lot of options okay if you're going for a trial and community edition you will have only limited limited things because for enterprise edition they have a lot of uh, components will be enabled and you, you can get additional plugin from them okay and each and each and every uh, things are this is, is out of the from UI part. And one more thing is like cognitive bots. Okay. How cognitive bots is created means suppose here we have nearly 400 uh, activities. The activities this means you might already used uh, UI path, you might aware of all these activities, right? It all you know all these activities, right? This called this called activities, and you have nearly 400 to 500 activities. And they keep on upgrading. Okay, so in UA path, uh, you you will be it's like a Microsoft product. Right? You mm -hmm. you if it's ready for business. Okay, mm -hmm. it's ready for you can be build application which is ready for business and quick. In, uh, in time without time consuming, we can build a build up a process. Suppose if you are not able to build up a process through this activity, you can write your own custom logic for say the through VP or a PowerShell or a Java. Or a Python, okay. So you can create your custom logics. And one more advantage is like, uh, suppose if you're going for a OCR, okay. If you are going for a OCR, OCR you know right? Yeah, have you have you heard? Sorry? I don't know. No. Suppose if you want to extract, uh, extract because for example, uh, we have written we have written uh, exams in OCR OCR uh, sheets right? For uh, banking or uh, for for medical exams, those those kind of things. Okay, if you want to know, if you want to get the output of the that is, if you want to extract those data, we can use UA path to extract and we can create automate. So no need so 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 someone no need to go there and uh, correct all the papers or uh, there is no manual interventions needed. Or uh, if if there is any existing technologies like correct the OC paper and they take one day or two days means if you build a proper process in UA path. You can just uh, validate with an R. Okay, mm -hmm. just if you need to have the uh, that is a OCR sheet as a PDF. That's all. Okay, and web scrapping, data scrapping, all those things are there. And each of these tools, apart from these a uh, automation anywhere or a blue person, these tools have their own advantages. Okay, but comparing these tools, VA path is why is growing very faster. Is like anyone can, can anyone can come. And anyone can do the process okay they should know only the little bit of logic experience okay how, how to create the process how to connect their process that's all okay so here in ua path infrastructure view you will have two teams in your organization if you are implementing properly or implemented properly means you will have a two team one is infrastructure team and one is a development team okay so the infrastructure team is a responsible for Configuring all the arc that is uh, orchestrator because uh, configuring our orchestrator is a big process. Okay, if you want, uh, we can go ahead and teach, but it, it requires some prerequisites like SQL Server, IAS, REST APIs, all those things we need. Uh, and uh, this infrastructure team will maintain the orchestrator and bot, the bot buying all those things. Okay, developer team will only concentrate on the development if there is any issues or if, if there is any. Problem with communicating with a particular application. Suppose if you are going and doing uh, automation in Excel, but the Excel is getting terminated uh, whenever we try to open a open an Excel or whenever we try to communicate with an Excel application means. Okay, so there might be a bug with a particular activity. Okay, so from the from the point 
we have to communicate with the uh, obviously we have to communicate with the coe team that is infrastructure team they will turn back to the air path and they will get the solution for us and this way the channels works okay so you understood the overall uh, structure right if you have any questions you can say yeah Overall, I understood. I just wanted to ask one more thing. Suppose I just uh, just use case scenario. Suppose the HR wants to automate something. Okay. Their process. So can we use UI part or Blue Prism in that case? It's up to your requirement. Uh, okay. okay. So not necessary. No, no. It's not a. It's not about tools. Okay. That's what I'm saying. If you are going, uh, what the classification is? Main classification is if you want to. invoke a python engine okay mm. if you want to invoke a python engine for example uh, python hmm. so how will you invoke a python engine in rpa will it integrate with python or do you it has a editor as yes no it it it, it won't get in, integrated we will create the python engine separately okay 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 so the engine in, engine will be there and uh, all the setup of the python has to be inside the local machine Either it's a bot machine or a whatever machine. Okay, just here we have a code, we have a activity called invoke Python code. So okay. for for ex- yes yes we have okay, and you can you can create you can you can invoke a PowerShell. You know we can create we can invoke the WMI all the things we can do it. Okay, so okay, so it's based up yeah it's already there. Yeah. So no need to even you can import the Java jar files. You can just create a Java files, okay, and you can convert it to a jar. You can compress a jar and you can just import it into the UI part. How much? Yeah. And do you have any questions? Uh, no. Yeah. So okay. So we said as we said, we are coming about robots. Okay. So robots are two types. One is friend. Uh, Unattended robot and unattended robot. What is unattended robot? First, if you are having your project and uh, you are developing for unattended robots, so it will run as a you as you know as you are a mainframe developer. Uh, so you may you you aware of all the scheduling systems, right? How the jobs are done, banking, all these things. So the batches as as batches, we will write up the schedules. Okay. to we'll write up the schedules so those process will be keep on uh, running on the particular scheduled time another robot is uh, attended robot for example uh, suppose if we have a help desk a day to day activity what are we are saying help desk people okay so what they, what their role would be like uh, they has to interact with the client they have to scheme something okay they can't go there and hard code their id and password because their id and password will have might have an uh, additional administrative code just comparing to us okay so the, what they will do means if you want to configure anything they they will come to us and they will they will come to us and uh, they will take a remote of the system and uh, uh, they will correct the issues okay during this time the connection everything will be automated through ui path but the key in the password all those things because that is their own password and the why uh, we can't uh, uh, store their assert in the orchestrator is like the help desk people will keep on vary for each and every time whenever we are asking for any help okay for at the time uh, so the as the individual persons are keep on varying so they has to key their own own id and password right for the purpose we can create it as an attended bot so attended bot is nothing like apart from this scheduling system it will run based upon the manual trigger okay so so here i we have created a simple process okay simple process like attended uh, this is a unattended because if you are deploying okay and if you are making a scheduling in the orchestrator then it will be work as a unattended bot if you want to make as an attended bot it's very simple So 
because suppose uh, we can we can and uh, it can be anything okay just inside whatever you want whatever you want control control start or something whatever you want and which element you want to indicate on the screen so you, suppose i'm just indicating this element <laughs> And you know about uh, this framework all this means right yes yes oh. so have you developed uh, your use cases in framework uh, no money it, it was not so deep mm. So this is called a uh, triggering events. Okay. So th through this only they will they will go for a uh, assisted board. Okay. So for example, here uh, this is orchestrator. Hope you have seen right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have you connected uh, your board machine with the orchestrator? No. 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 So here you can see this is my machine name. Okay, this is my machine name, and uh, here suppose. Well, if you if you have to give you key in your machine name, suppose you want to connect, and uh, your name, and your domain or password, whatever you have. And random environments, it has to be created, logging all these things. Okay, suppose uh, we are going further, then we will see in details. Okay, so next thing is your board will be get connected, and uh, your process the process how it work means you will upload your package. Suppose this is an assisted board, we have clearly uh, indicated an assisted board. Also. Okay, so clearly we have indicated an assisted board. And if you want to deploy your package, you have to go to their uh, setup and you want to publish. Okay, so the the code will automatically publish to a specific folder folder called the packages. One second. Okay, so in a uh, path, there are two things. One is app data. You have you ever used it? Yeah, app data. Yes. Yes. Sir. So, what are the things you have done in app data? Uh, I've just seen it. And not. I. Yes. Okay. Not actually. So from there, there yes. Okay, in app data you can configure all this uh, your configuration files everything. Okay, that's that's what you use for thing. So pro program data is a uh, where you can find your UA path packages. Suppose here, here you can find your settings, projects and license everything. Okay, so mainly one second. Here uh, I have. Here I have gone for a deployment. That is, publish is a simple process in the in UiPath to deploy a project. Okay, 
but what is the thing is i have connected to orchestrator right so directly it will get published in the in the orchestrator okay so yeah. what i have to do means at the at the process <clears throat> during this time you know you you should need to disconnect your robots okay if you disconnect your robots and you publishes now test two okay so you see this is our nugget package okay and this packages has to be configured with the orchestrator so these are called the processes okay based upon these nugget package we will create a processes package name whatever is whatever is configured with the orchestrator if you want to uh, suppose this is just to is a package name then it will get reported okay and you want to select that you have to create an environment all these things so once you create it we will have schedules the schedules as you know like what is the schedule name all these things but here how it will how it will works is like minutes hours daily quickly mm -hmm. advance in advance means you will have to use cron expressions okay so the cron expression is nothing say unix scheduling system expressions so based upon your complex schedules suppose <clears throat> in the every 30 minutes if you want to run or a month hourly monthly weekly advance like this okay so if you want to run those things then it's very easy for suppose from morning nine for every 25 minutes it has to run and it has to end up at evening six okay mm -hmm. so at the time it will become a complex schedule okay mm -hmm. so at the time you have to use the cron expressions and the assets assets is the area where you will maintain all your uh, all your uh, data like the user id and passwords all these things okay mm -hmm. and queues we are going for a complex uh, complex process like the transactions okay mm -hmm. you are removing your banking projects okay from there uh, if you have four four to five bots okay if you have a simple uh, single bot single bot means what it will do means if you have excel file and if you are uh, if you have excel file and if you have uh, a single bot means what it will do means it will take a single a single row and it will process and it will go for the next row Okay, mm -hmm. for uh, suppose if you don't, if you have five, five to six bots, and if you want to process Excel file within a seconds, okay. So what you do means you will have five bots, and you will use process and try queues, and each each row that is each row in the Excel will be processed mm -hmm. by each bot. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is a transaction. So here we will use queue concepts. So from queue concepts this will come once you are going for a ray frameworks. Okay. So we you can you can post a transaction you can just add the queue items or get the queue data or uh, set a transaction status or post transaction and uh, all these things are coming in which are in state reframe open state machines. So what will be two types? Okay, one is unattended, one is attended. Okay. So here we have a code. Okay, we have a code. We have already deployed. Okay, we have already deployed. And if you if you want to pull up it in orchestrator, then you you have to point out where the package is there. Okay. Otherwise, if you have a GitHub, you have a version controlling system in your uh, projects. So what what you what you are doing in your shipment? So uh, you like we have test QA and prod, right? So that's how we maintain our versions in QA and prod environment. Okay. Okay, fine. So what what is a version of the product you have any idea? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So I don't know which version of the product you are using, but uh, you you will have ID and password to log into to the version. Yes, yes, yes. So it will be in a common server, and you, you post your codes 
and for each and every changes it will get reflected okay you just have to upload your code and from there uh, so for ui path you have implemented all these things right uh, not really uh -huh. but like it's been up like it's been done by somebody and we just had a look at it nothing kind of a uh, went into and explored things so deeply like you were explaining so yeah Okay. Okay. But I think there's a lot, lot in it. I think I've just seen the like the tip, the one which you're showing. It's uh, very deep. I think I know it's basic, but okay, okay, okay. Just to make sure, and. Uh... So apart from this, have you done anything like uh, in SAP? So, what are the things? So in SAP, what we are doing is some, we are into reporting platform. So okay. we are into reporting platform. So, so what we are doing is we, we generate a lot of reports to the US state like, like regulatory agencies. So okay. these these reports are then filed into into the systems, and um, okay. then, then they are. Uh, then they are presented to each company website. Okay. We are what we are doing is we are converting all those into migrating into SAP HANA. Okay. So okay. From, from SAP HANA, uh, although the data is so so huge, uh, you would also require the kind of disk or RAM in order to to, to do that. So okay. we are trying to do it. Uh, Although SAP HANA is the most sophisticated platform, we also want to in uh, we also want to involve into RPA so that it connects. Uh, SAP HANA can be connected, integrated with the RPA, and then it performs its task. Okay, fine. Yes, very good. So, yes. Yeah. So this is just a just a tip of the iceberg. I'm not into I'm not currently into development of RPA, but development into mainframes and SAP HANA. But I'm that's why I want to understand. Like how it works, and maybe then okay. I can use it in my project. So, yeah. So I, I'm just a, I'm just a, I just want to start from basic. It's not something I've just seen. I'm not worked upon. Okay, okay. Just I'm giving a overall clarification. How you, how, mm -hmm. what are the things are there? Because so you can come to an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so how, how to process or how, how it works, how the things are. Can UiPath be installed on your local app platform, like uh, laptop? Yeah, yeah, yes. Have you, uh, you, do you have your uh, UiPath installed in your local PC or uh, your desktop, home desktop or the laptop? No, home desktop I no. don't have. That's what I want. Home desktop I not installed. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. I'll share the link to you. Okay, so you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, but and uh, bigger robotics. Okay. Yeah, you have right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. You no, just you have. Have, have you put your uh, email ID, right? Ah, that's all. Yeah, you, know, you just you have to create all your records and you have to register it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Go for the yeah, latest, right. latest version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apart from this, we don't have any enterprise solution. We can give, but actually, because. Okay. They are licensed, and in the enterprise level, we won't use the latest versions, okay? Uh, because uh, we have we will check all the whether all the activities or all, all the process of working fine or not. Till now, uh, we just now we hear most of the organizations in the enterprise level they are working in UAPA 2.1, but in outside, you will get maybe 3.3, 3.4, 3.5. 
it even 3.5 also you can get okay but the enterprise level yeah people are working in 2.1 or 1.4 because it has to be compatible to all the components either uh, as you said sap or as a tricks environment or even mainframe for if people we will use click on to log into mainframe right Yeah, it's is, it is easy only, it's not a difficult, but you have to be practiced, okay? Because uh, <clears throat> while in this teaching, uh, I'm trying to, I want to say frank, actually, I can't cover all those things, okay? I can say what is what mm -hmm. and how to do it right. and where to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's your, you see, your, first of all, you, you should get opportunities or you have to create your own opportunities, okay? So you have to order, you have to, if you are on a main term, or, or obviously we will do anywhere or uh, go there and change up, uh, change the data in a data set or uh, do endeavor migrations or mm -hmm. uh, control level, prop level, control level, those things you do, right? So you can just make an, uh, make a simple automation of it, okay? You see, it's very, main term automation is very, very easy in UA, but, okay. Okay, okay. So it's, it's, it's a simple, it's very, very simple in your path. You can, you can done in minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, apart from this, the difficult, yeah. In mainframe, it, it yeah. has. Yes, has. yes, yes. Mm, one second. So my, I have a handle on project, one second, that's what I, so here, uh, you know, just my or something. Let me. Keep it somewhere. Okay. These are not mainframes. They want for, for late job monitoring, the operation teams are using it. Mm -hmm. So for, for this, we have created in uh, uh, state missions. Okay. And this is, this is a trick. Okay. Yes, somewhere will be there. Okay, I will show you, I will show you a video actually file is there but i don't i can if i open the file then i, I don't know whether you to hear uh, we can have one second ims ims all these things so so you see very easy actually uh, mainframes automation of mainframes is is working really, really superb in the uh, comparing to citrix automation Sitting out of it also sometimes if there is any and one more thing you have to be under the show going for image based automation you have to maintain the resolution actually mm -hmm. okay. so okay. it works for all the systems all the rpa tools okay because it's not a human being that we can't because the button will be where somewhere okay and the resolution and gradient everything will get changed okay so due to that uh that particular bot might not uh understand that particular uh, image because in Citrix all, all the backgrounds are working as images okay mm. it's not a it's not a real UI elements mm -hmm. okay so we have to be careful while doing the Citrix automations and uh, that's all for my end if you have any questions you can ask them uh, no nothing I I was yeah I just wanted to have a feel of it just to start I Okay, and uh, any suggestion from here for me? Anything I need to be corrected? No, nothing. No, you can say. If you have anything, you just say. I don't yeah, mind. I, right now, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Thanks, thanks, Vincent. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye.